In this video we share our Lord's message to Luisa Picaretta on God's justice. Always it is true that Satan would want us to despair, but Jesus wants us to repair, that is, make reparation for mankind through our prayers, fasting, and love. On July 1, 1942, Jesus said to servant of God Luisa Picaretta. My daughter, let us pray together. There are certain sad times in which my justice, unable to contain itself because of the evils of creatures, would want to flood the earth with new scourges, and so prayer in my will is necessary, which, extending over all, places itself as defense of the creatures, and with its power, prevents my justice from approaching the creature to strike her. Our Lord is explicitly telling us that praying in my will can prevent justice from striking the creature. After Jesus told Luisa that it was necessary to pray in my will, he then begins to intercede in a most beautiful way. My Father, I offer you this blood of mine. Oh please, let it cover all the intelligences of creatures rendering vain all their evil thoughts, dimming the fire of their passions, and making holy intelligences rise again. May this blood cover their eyes and be a veil to their sight, so that the taste of evil pleasures may not enter them through their eyes, and they may not get dirty with the mud of the earth. May this blood of mine cover and fill their mouths, and render their lips dead to blasphemies, to imprecations, to all of their bad words. My Father, may this blood of mine cover their hands, and strike terror in man for so many evil actions. May this blood circulate in our eternal will in order to cover all, to defend all, and to be a defending weapon for the creature before the rights of our justice. Luisa Picaretta was born in Carato in the province of Bari, Italy on April 23, 1865 and died there in the odor of sanctity on March 4, 1947. Luisa from her very birth was given a mystical life, for example, at the age of 17 she received the mystical union that Saint John of the Cross, Saint Teresa of Avila and Saint Catherine of Siena received right before they died. After this mystical union Jesus asked Luisa if she would stay in bed and because of her fiat. Jesus taught Luisa about the life of the divine will, forming it first in her. For the next 64 years, until her death, Luisa stayed in bed essentially not eating, drinking or sleeping. Luisa also lived on the food of the divine will, which Jesus said in the Gospels, a food that you do not know of. During that time through great sufferings and a sublime call to holiness Jesus taught Luisa about the fulfillment of the Our Father, the prayer that Jesus taught his apostles. Jesus taught Luisa that now is the time for the kingdom of God to reign on earth as in heaven. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.